Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be sharing with you some products that I'm glad that I did not purchase, that I skipped out on. In the past year, I started doing like a purchase of past series on my channel where like every month I would talk about new releases, I would add some things to my wish list, and some of those things that I added onto my wish list a few months later now in 2022 in March. I'm glad I didn't buy and I'm just gonna sort of talk about why I'm glad I didn't. I think that's always good like when you want something it's good to like sort of wait it out and see if you really really do want it. Um, so I think for these products that I'm about to share I'm glad I did wait it out because I think if I did get it I might have not been so happy with it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hop right into the video. So the first product is actually the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. So I added this onto my wish list when it was released. I really want to try it because I do enjoy the putty blushes. It's not like my absolute favorite cream blush, but I enjoyed it enough where I was intrigued by the putty bronzers. But I'm glad I didn't get it, although, you know, it's e.l.f. It's very, very affordable. First, I didn't really hear that many great things about it. Second, I personally don't use a lot of cream products. So I'm not sure why I really wanted this. I think whenever e.l.f. comes out with something, I just want to try it because it's so accessible, it's so affordable that I'm just like, why not? But, you know, when I think about it and my makeup style, I don't really wear a lot of cream products. And honestly, I don't wear a lot of bronzer that much anymore. Um, I definitely do wear a lot more makeup for filming, for the camera just because it looks better but you know my go-to glam although it looks something like this it's not exactly like this like in my daily go-to glam when I'm not filming I don't actually wear bronzer so I'm thinking like why did I really want this and if I did get it I think it would have just expired in my collection although I have been sort of jumping back into cream bronzer I've been really liking the M Cosmetics so soft um, I think that's gonna last me for a very long time. I don't need another cream bronzer so I'm glad I skipped out on it. I'm glad I didn't purchase it because even the reviews I've heard weren't really that great. Like it wasn't bad but it wasn't like amazing so I'm glad I skipped out on that one. I'm also glad I skipped out on the Urban Decay Cyber Palette. I've sort of heard mixed opinions about this. I've heard people that really love it and people that really don't think it's worth it. There are other better naked palettes and I do think that is the case. I think if I were to buy another Naked palette, which I haven't done in years, my last Naked palette was the Mini Basic, and that was years and years ago. And I think if I were to buy another Naked palette, it would probably be the Honey or the Cherry. I don't think it would be the Cyber, although something about the color story I really like. I like that like sort of daily sparkly neutral color story but I'm glad I didn't get it because I don't think I would really use the shades that much. It looks like there's a lot of crossover shades as well. So again I probably would get the honey or the cherry even though they are older palettes. I feel like just when you're online as a creator especially a makeup reviewer you feel like you always have to have the newest latest things but sometimes you know it's okay to purchase an older palette right so yeah I'm glad I did skip out on that one because I don't think I would have like reached for it. I don't know because the metallics look really really pretty like all of those sparkly glitters I love that. But the next item is something I'm really really glad I didn't pick up because I think if I got it at the time I I don't know, I probably wouldn't have used it as much right now. And that is the KVD Beauty Good Apple Foundation. The one that went viral all over TikTok. The one swipe everyone was saying it was so good. I'm not even sure if it came to New Zealand, which I'm glad it didn't. But at that time when it went viral, um, it wasn't available here in New Zealand. So I couldn't get it anyway, which is good. Because the thing is with that, I think I really was just influenced by TikTok. The reviews weren't really a review. It was really just a first impressions. Like everyone was just like one swipe. Wow, amazing. You need this. And the video was finished, right? So I'm glad I didn't get that because I think if I got it, it's not something I would wear in my makeup routine. Like I wouldn't wear such a full coverage powder foundation. Like that's just not my thing. I'm not a powder foundation person like just to swipe it on like that um so i'm glad i didn't get it because i think i definitely would have went in with the hype it wasn't something that like i felt like i needed in my collection really it was just 
because it was viral i wanted it and there are certain things that are viral and are good but i don't think this one specifically because now i don't hear anyone talk about this i don't think i saw it in any end of year favorites um so i don't actually think it was that great as people were making it seem i'm sure it's a good product if you love the full coverage but i don't know I'm glad I did skip out on that one though. Another one is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Eye Primer. It was like a concealer primer, something like that. Very similar to their normal Hydro Grip Primer. So that I heard Kelly, she didn't really like it and she got to try it. So I'm glad I didn't pick it up because I was interested in it and I was like considering. But with that being said, Milk Makeup actually like DM'd me on Instagram and got my address to send me some things. I haven't gotten anything from them yet but like maybe i'll get to try it in the future who knows it's not completely off the list i don't mind getting in pr to test it out for you guys give you my opinion but i really am looking forward to that package from milk makeup i think it's so exciting um and i want to try more things from them because i've only tried their primer so yeah but i'm glad i didn't pick up that myself because i'm not sure if i would have liked it because that's not like an eye primer consistency that I would like. You know, when you think about things, like you know when things release, you're like, oh my gosh, I need this right now. But then when you think about it, it's like, you don't even use products like that, Judy. Like, why do you need this? <laughs> NYX is just a brand in general, and that is Ram Beauty, which is, of course, Ariana's makeup line. And honestly, I don't know if I could even purchase this because first, it's not available here. I'm not sure how much her international shipping is. And second, I'm not really sure if her brand is cruelty free so it's like would I get anything at all but I was definitely intrigued by her um, makeup line I haven't really heard that many great things about it um, it's very mediocre to me and I don't know if it's something that I would want to spend my money on I think if the only thing I would get from her line if I could is probably her eyeliner because there's that like video of her doing her wing that went kind of viral so that's probably the only thing that I would want to get everything else just seems kind of whatever to me like if there was one celebrity makeup brand I want to try is Rare Beauty but I think their cruelty free status is still in the gray zone so I'm not too sure but it's very very tempting because we have it at our Sephora now and I really want to try it because I've actually heard like nothing but good things about Rare Beauty like if that was one celebrity brand it would be Rare Beauty for me but yeah, I'm not sure about their cruelty free status. So I don't know. With Rare Beauty, I still see people using their products, like even after the launch. But Rare Beauty, I'm like, I don't see their products anywhere after the launch. Like when they launched, everyone did a review. And now it's like silent. So maybe it's just who I'm seeing on my TikTok and on my YouTube, but I haven't really seen anyone talk about it now. So I'm glad I did skip out on it. And then for the last two things I want to talk about, the not makeup products, but it, it's still related to the beauty realm. And the first one is I actually added this onto my wish list, and I'm glad I didn't like end up purchasing it. It's the Way candle. This candle is really expensive. I really did add it on to my wish list for the aesthetic, which I am that girl. Okay, yes, I will pay a price for aesthetic sometimes. Yes, I will. I know some people think it's dumb, people think it's a waste of money, but when you have something in your head that like little things matter, the color, like everything, and you can't sleep at night when it comes to these things, you will pay the price for it, you know what I mean? But I'm glad I didn't get this specific candle just because it's really expensive and I think if I was gonna pay that much for an expensive candle I would probably pay for like a different branded candle like that's just a candle company rather coming from a hair care company if that makes sense I don't know but I'm just glad I didn't get it because I think there are other candles like I have some from the brand I don't know how you pronounce it dip I'll put the brand name on the screen um, but I got two of those for a gift and I think those are way nicer I don't know. I'm just glad I passed on this one. But then the last and final thing that i glad I didn't purchase anything from. Who knows? I might in the future. Who knows? But that is Jaclyn Roxanne, which is Jaclyn Hill's jewelry line. And 
when her launch came out I was excited I love jewelry and the way she was just selling things I think Jacqueline just has that she really sells things really well you know so when she was talking about her jewelry line although not all the styles were my kind of taste there were some pieces that I did like and I considered you know purchasing I wrote down the names of the items that I wanted in my notes I'm like you know maybe I'll pick it up because the way she was selling it she was saying like it doesn't tarnish and it was a really great price point and it was in gold so it's like you know why not try it why not try it and i didn't pull the plug because i was just like you know i don't know yet i don't know if i want to i don't really need more jewelry either so i was like i'll wait it out and then i saw on twitter um someone was like it tarnished like as soon as i wore it and made my skin go green and i'm just like what? And I'm not even sure if she even like addressed the situation. I didn't hear anything about it. I mean, I didn't look back into it either. So maybe she did. But yeah, I'm just like, oh, I'm glad I didn't get it because recently, I don't know why, but I think I'm like kind of allergic to some jewelry. So I've actually, I don't know if you can really see it from your distance. You know, I kind of backed it up a little but I did put some concealer I've been getting like these rashes on my neck and I didn't know what it was but then I saw a story from Edward he like said that he's allergic to necklaces and to jewelry and he got rashes on his neck as well and I'm like that could be it but the thing is I've been wearing this necklace and all of my necklaces for like years now I haven't really changed anything why am I suddenly getting rashes on my neck and my neck only like this necklace is from Ana Luisa these earrings are from Ana Luisa like this is this everything on my ears Ana Luisa but I don't get any reaction on my ears it's just on my neck and it's only recent and then I kind of concluded I think it's a mixture of the necklace and my sweat because when I film which is when I mostly wear my jewelry because I don't go outside this is the only time I look like this I have mentioned that we have been going through our hottest summer I think me sitting in this room for hours on end just stuffed in this room wearing this necklace mixed with the sweat it kind of gives me a little reaction because i do, i've never gotten this before it's only recent and it only happened in the summer of this year so i'm like yeah it probably is that it's probably a mix of the middle and my sweat i don't know but today is not as hot so i'm wearing it but yeah i can kind of feel it already getting a little bit itchy so i do need to wrap up this video and take this necklace off so after having my whole like rash jewelry situation on my neck i'm glad i skipped out on her jewelry brand because i don't want any more rashes on my neck i don't want my neck to turn green i don't know what the situation is about her jewelry brand like if you guys tried it that was the only one post i saw i mean you can't base it on one negative review i feel like. but yeah you guys these are some things that i'm glad i skipped out on who knows maybe in the future it's not like completely off the list but just me off right now i'm like you know what i'm glad it just stayed on the wish list and i didn't make it come true you know i'm glad it all turned out like that you know what i mean if you guys have any items that you're glad that you didn't purchase either like after you know maybe a couple months later you're like wow i'm glad i didn't get that because i probably wouldn't use it i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i definitely could do like makeup i'm glad i purchased or makeup i regret purchasing like that kind of tagline let me know what you guys think and what you want to see but thank you so much for watching as always i love you so much and i'll go ahead and see you guys in my next video Bye.